This is a very interesting question that really helps to bring conceptual clarity around forces acting on a body moving in a vertical circular motion. So what you have is a student with a weight W of 667 Newtons riding a steadily rotating Ferris wheel and note the fact that it is rotating steadily that is constant speed and at the highest point it is given the magnitude of the normal force Fn on the student from the seat is 556 Newtons. And the questions are A. Does the student feel light or heavy at the top? B. Is what is the magnitude of Fn at the lowest point? And finally, if the wheel's speed is doubled, what is the magnitude of Fn or the normal force at the highest? and lowest points. So in part A, at the highest point of the Ferris wheel, the normal force Fn is 556 Newtons, which is less than the student's weight W of 667 Newtons. This means the force exerted by the seat against the student is reduced. So the student will feel lighter. Now to understand this mathematically, let's consider the forces acting on the student. We have the normal force Fn acting in upward direction. The weight W is in downward direction. Then we can write Newton's second law of motion equation F is equal to Ma as Fn minus W is equal to minus Fc. That is Ma here is the centripetal force. So what's happening is that the net force on the left hand side is causing an acceleration that is nothing but the centripetal acceleration. Also, we have attached appropriate signs that is positive for Fn which is acting upwards, minus for W acting downwards and minus again for centripetal force Fc acting downwards towards the center. So we can say now that Fn is equal to W minus Fc. Now, W and Fc are positive quantities or magnitudes since we've already applied the relevant signs here. Therefore, we can see that Fn is less than the real weight W by a magnitude of centripetal force Fc and hence the student feels lighter. In part B, at the lowest point, the forces are set up a little differently and using the same sign notation, we get Fn minus W is equal to Fc. So here Fc or the centripetal force is positive since it is acting upwards and towards the center. This means normal force Fn is equal to W plus Fc. Also, you must note that Fc does not change since the speed of rotation is constant, which is stated in the problem itself. Now, from part A, we can calculate Fc as Fc is equal to W minus Fn, which is 667 Newtons minus 556 Newtons or 111 Newtons. And using this result here, we get at the lowest point, Fn is equal to 667 Newtons plus 111 Newtons, which equals 778 Newtons. That is the student will feel heavier because the normal force is greater than the weight now. In part C, doubling the speed of the wheel affects a centripetal force significantly since the centripetal force Fc depends on the square of the speed or V square. So Fc nu that is a new centripetal force that is at double the speed is equal to m into 2v square upon r. So our radius remains the same. v has now become 2v. And if you simplify this, it equals 4 into mv square upon r, which is nothing but 4 times the original fc because mv square upon r is the original fc. So this equals 4 into 111 newtons or 444 newtons. Then at the highest point using the same equation we get normal force Fn is equal to W minus Fc nu which is equal to 667 newtons 
minus 444 newtons which equals 223 newtons and at the lowest point fn is equal to w plus fc nu which equals 667 newtons plus 444 newtons that equals 1111 newtons